Good morning everyone Welcome to vlog 100 I can't believe I have been vlogging for this long And I managed to have 100 videos out for you guys But yeah, so today no. I'm, walking, I'm walking down to um, the bus stop because I'm going to catch the airport bus to go to Kmart today I don't have a car with me, my boyfriend's using my car at the moment so I'm just going to take the public transport and what I love about public transport is that it... I don't know, there's something about it that makes everything look so pretty and it's a good day today, it's so cold it's under 10 degrees but the sun compensates the cold because if you're standing under the sun you eventually feel warm but yeah so that's what we're going to do today and I'll catch you in Kmart sorry for this angle but I just left Kmart and I actually did a little bit of damage I bought a few stuff so I bought some tops and some makeup that I wanted to try and I saw a bunch of stuff from the OXX studio line but I don't know like it didn't really appeal to me except for the base product so I'm going to try that once I get home so now I'm walking back to the bus stop and we'll see you guys at home beautiful so I finally just got home and I will show you guys what I purchased from Kmart even though it's not going to be anything exciting so the first product that I purchased was this one right here and it's it's one of those bendy rollers so this one cost me six dollars and I want to do like a review on this one and then I purchased this flawless beauty perfecting tool so this is a dual ended brush I figured since I'll be doing like a first impression on the OXX studio line might as well use this for the base and then I purchased the lightweight foundation which is in the shade beige I'm not sure if this is the darkest but this is the one that I found that has the most yellow undertone and also I purchased the face contour kit from the OXX now this is not from their OXX studio line this is just from their normal line and then I purchased some toothbrush it's a necessity and if that um, first foundation won't work out in terms of coverage I actually purchased another one which is the foundation stick and again this is not from the studio line this is actually from the normal line so I got this one in the shade light I saw medium and tan but oh my god they were so orange so I figured might as well just get light to be sure and then I purchased the silicone facial cleanser I might actually do like a mini review of this soon after I eat lunch because I have not had lunch yet I want to try and see if it, this thing works then this will be great for traveling like I love my Clarisonic but sometimes it's pretty bulky and it takes so much space so I figured that one well, if it works that would be a perfect travel buddy and then last two things are tops so I got this top right here you can't really see it but it has like a frilly sleeve which is that one right there and this one was seven dollars I mainly got it because of the color I don't have anything that is in this color and yeah it's a good like dressy top and then I got a, this grey top again it has that frilly um, sleeve to it and then like a somewhat frilly bottom so I really like the colour grey is everything to me and so is black and white but yeah so those were the things that I purchased from Kmart I didn't really vlog inside Kmart because one it was quite hectic and two 
there was a few people there so I was actually embarrassed <laughs> So I'm gonna go have lunch and maybe I'll be back with you guys to review the facial brush or actually I might do a separate video but we'll see how we go I just finished filming and I tried out this foundation right here from OXX and so far so good like it definitely makes me look a little bit dewy but yeah the coverage is pretty decent like it's light to medium coverage uh it doesn't really emphasize any of my funny thing though it kind of looks a little bit cakey around this area but yeah it's nothing too crazy like from afar it actually looks pretty good and also i purchased the contour stick duo unfortunately i could not open the lid <sighs> i don't know like sometimes the problem with affordable makeup is their packaging it's pretty unreliable and it's so hard to get to like i've been trying to open this for the past three or five minutes but uh, it's pretty stuck on so i cannot do a first impression on this one it's exactly 10 minutes since the last time i checked in and i've applied the foundation it doesn't feel sticky at all once it's set though it feels a little bit greasy and heavy on my skin but the coverage is good like this this doesn't um this doesn't claim to be long wearing or anything like that but i guess with a good primer and good setting powder you could definitely make this last the color match is a little bit off but i kind of made it work because i applied a powder contour and a darker shade of powder and it looks pretty good so far so we'll see and also I really want to try this facial cleanser I think I will do a separate video about this because I was thinking to include this in this vlog but then no I want to do a first impression on this other than that Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for, you know, watching my random daily lives. And I cannot believe that this is my 100th vlog. So yeah, I hope to make more interesting vlogs for you guys. Specifically travel vlogs. I don't have any travel... I don't have any travel plans as of the moment not until october but this coming september i really want to go somewhere because that's like my birthday month so yeah stay beautiful and i will catch you on my next vlog bye hi beautiful so it's a couple of days later since my last vlog i literally did not do much but today i met up with a friend had lunch and then um i tried to look for a gift for someone but i could not find any so i just walked around town and looked at some stuff so i went to Mecca maxima actually to purchase a few things that i really wanted to try so before the Mecca, i actually got a package from real you this is the control plus face gel now i ordered this stuff i think last week but it only just came in the mail and yeah i'm excited to use this product i have used this before and it actually works in terms of getting rid of acne scars and acne in general so this is a great product but that was probably four years ago and i kind of forgotten <laughs> how it works so i ordered this again because recently i have been getting a lot of serious bumps and issues on my face so excited to try this again so this is what i purchased from mecca i know i was gonna do a formal video but then there's not much that i bought so i'll just show it in a vlog so i went there and i was in need of a exfoliating 
loofah originally i was going to buy loofah but then the one that i bought recently broke so i opted for this scrubbing gloves now this is from the brand soap and glory and i thought it was cute it's pink and you get two for seven dollars so i think that was relatively cheap and then i got a few things from mecca i purchased this mecca max power tool so this is a brush refresh mist slash brush cleaner i have been using alcohol and micellar water for the longest time and cleaning my brush in conjunction with the bun maker but i thought i would try a one product that is already made for refreshing your brush because washing your brush with a soap is not very healthy i mean not that they live i mean you know it's not good for the bristles so i thought this would be great in between washes since recently i have been into like more colorful slash bolder eye makeup looks so i thought this would be good and i have to repurchase my mario de bedescu facial facial spray i nearly whacked my eye in there so this is the facial spray i currently have the cucumber and aloe vera which is like down to its last two spreads so i thought i'd try the classic rose water and then i got what's that so i have been wanting to try a, few, a product from Lano Lips, so I decided to grab this coconut butter body milk and this is so this is a moisturizer for your body which is made out of coconut it does not have any harsh chemicals that you normally see from brands and from other brands and i thought i would try this for my face as well because my moisturizer at the moment is great but it's not really doing anything miraculous and besides my skin has been changing as of late like i'm usually no more oily but then i would get like some dry patches i'm not sure if it's the weather or not but i i'm so excited to try this it would be great for my crusty hands and elbows and knees and body in general so i got this one last thing i purchased is this soft shadow brush from mecca because mecca max mecca max brand so this is their house brand and this is just like a fluffy um eyeshadow brush which i thought would be nice because it's totally different if you have a good eyeshadow brush for blending and i felt the tester that they had and this was very fluffy and i love the packaging because it comes in this acrylic tube and it has a lid and this is what it looks like so it'd be great to apply highlighter to contour your nose to blend your eyes because the size is relatively big and this reminds me of the sigma e40 which is always sold out that's why i could not get my hands on it so i thought this would be nice so that's pretty much it and yeah i have nothing else planned i probably have to film the review on the silicone brush that i did i filmed the demo but now i have to film like the actual review so that's it for me have a great day and i will catch you on the next bye